With Winter Siege Week 2 starting yesterday, we got the introduction of Gun Game, one of my personal favorite modes in Call of Duty returning for World War II, and hopefully we can end up seeing it a little bit more so past just this second week and then in the final week of Winter Siege. I'd love to see it as either a staple or maybe one of those rotating weekly playlists that we end up getting, like Modern Warfare Remastered had with the Weekend Warfare playlist. But with that said, Week 2 of Winter Siege brings a little bit more content to the table in terms of what players can grind out and how they can approach things. But when it comes down to the content that we got introduced at the very beginning, well, that's all still the same. And one thing that I'm almost definitely sure you guys will be grinding out for the next few days and leading up into the start of January, up until the end of Winter Siege, are the DLC weapons that we ended up getting dropped as a result of this seasonal event. Now, of course, while there are variants for each of these weapons only available in supply drops, you guys probably have noticed that we've had a rotation of the Sten, the GPMG, the Gewehr, the Ice pick and the trench knife all within the daily special orders offered by Major Howard. Now this is one thing that I'm sure a lot of you guys probably have not grinded out every single one on the days that they are available because there are a lot of games that are required. But one thing with these rotating now we do have extra chances to take advantage of them so we can have a little bit more of a laissez-faire or relaxed approach to it but we also still do have to grind out the necessary games in this span of time. So in this video today I want to talk to you guys about some of the best modes that you can play to unlock these fast. Being that all of these special orders are completion based, that means that you have to just simply play to the very end of the match that you end up joining in. And one cool thing is also a little tip heads up first thing before you can jump into it, you don't have to be there from start to finish of the match. If you end up say joining a TDM game in which there is 70 out of the 75 kills already accounted for, so long as you stay in until the match actually ends and put you back in the lobby, well then you're fine. That counts for one of those matches you need. But that said, let's jump into what I think are probably the four best modes here for this. So right out of the gate, I want to give you guys a little basis for what determines what I think is the best ones to help you. That being, of course, simply time. Because it is completion based, a lot of the modes that you end up playing will be around 10 minutes long. Now, of course, 10 minutes times 50 for some of those weapons that are of the more range classification like the Gewehr, like the GPMG, like the Sten, that is something in which you take that, and if you play a game that is standard 10 minutes times 50, that is going to take you to 500 minutes. And of course, that then breaks down to 8.3 hours of game time just to unlock one of these weapons. So if you can expedite that process at all, of course you're going to want to do that. And that's gonna lead us into the first one here that I think is the absolute best for this sort of challenge. And it just so happens that it is this week's special playlist. So that being Gun Game. For those guys that have played Gun Game in the past, depending on the maps, some of these matches can take anywhere from two and a half minutes to maybe five minutes. And that's probably right around where the average falls in place. Four to five minutes is probably my guess here for this within World War II. And also while you end up cutting that effective time that we just mentioned of eight hours of game time in half by strictly playing Gun Game, it also just so happens to be double XP. And if you have any active boosts or if you have anything that really helps you out. If you end up coming away in the top three or winning exclusively, you get some decent XP out of it. Almost 8,000 XP per four or five minutes of game time without, once again, any active bonuses or something like that. I know in yesterday's stream, I was pulling away with, say, 12,000, 13,000 XP with active boosts and double XP. So it really worked out nicely, and it's one that, of course, is the quickest, simply because it doesn't last all that long. It is a free-for-all mode, so once again, if you're concerned about wins, all you have to do is finish top three for that technical win and then also the fact that you're only supposed to go up to 18 kills that's something that helps out drastically as well compared to say a standard free-for-all match which is 30 kills not to mention once again for this week in particular for this rotation of the special orders there's going to be a very large population of players also in there whereas compared to say maybe later on down the line in the year if it becomes a stable mode that is in the rotation regularly it might not have as many players so you can totally take advantage of this one here this week and of course benefit not only from the shortest amount of time that is required to complete matches but also the double XP is a great thing also. But that said that moves us over into the second one dealing very much so similarly with gun game that being just regular free for all. Now of course these matches will be a little bit longer maybe anywhere from five to six minutes but still very much so beats out that 10 minute standard that we end up setting as the precedent for our eight hours of game 
time to complete one of the ranged weapon orders. Free for all, of course, is very similar to gun game in structure in which you only have to finish top three to get the victory. Of course, that is kind of irrelevant to the challenge itself, but with only 30 kills, some people can breeze through this. Some people can end up having a little bit longer of games depending on how big the map is. I know that I've played some free for alls on Gustav Cannon and sometimes it does go close to time limit, but nonetheless, with it being something that is a little bit longer than gun game, it will place you in sometimes games that are already in session. So if you're not necessarily too concerned about losing or not being able to find your way in that top three with enough time to manage it, of course, that is something that also can maybe cut that six minutes in half. So maybe you only play three minutes if you get into a game late, to which it still once again counts as a completion for that match and counts towards your special orders. So definitely something that I think is once again a very viable option, very quick and easy, and of course, you can get some decent gameplay here out of it by just killing anything that moves. Next up on the list, and I guess interchangeable once again with the one following, very similar to how we saw with Gun Game and Free For All, the next one I want to talk about is TDM, because this is something that, as mentioned previously, you can be tossed into games midway through, close to the very end, whatever it may be, because it is one that does have the potential to go 10 minutes, it has that timer of 10 minutes, but very often and it does not go that full length. I think probably some of the longest TDMs that I've seen, maybe I've hit time limit once or twice in World War II, but for the most part, on average, around six to seven minutes per match. And that's something that, of course, is beautiful in terms of being able to complete games quickly. And one thing that's also nice to add into this is that that's probably where the primary amount of players in that player pool come from or where they gravitate towards rather. That's something in which you're going to always have a lot of people to pull from. You'll always find a match very quickly and with so many matches going on in the server, once again, you could hop on very easily into a game already in progress to which it cuts that time in half you need. And on top of all of it, you have the potential to do very well because with more players means you're gonna run into a lot more people that might not be as good as you. But nonetheless, it is something that is variable but does have the potential to go by very quickly. And once again, moving over into the next mode, it's once again very comparable once again to TDM, as with how Gun Game and Free For All was, but Kill Confirmed is essentially TDM, but with the ability to get more XP, and therefore, if you're going strictly for XP, I'd probably say go for Kill Confirmed. It's definitely something that is very nice, but Kill Confirmed can probably run you on average once again another six to seven minutes, which still is much better than that standard 10 minute that we're setting the basis for, in which you need to complete all your matches and everything like that. For for that special order. But that said, I'm gonna give a little honorable mention, I guess, to close this out because one that is very dependent on your team and one that very well could be something that you maybe only go four minutes or maybe you last 12 to 13 is war. But that's one thing in which, once again, is very dependent on your team, and really, I don't think that unless you play with a party, it's something you can ever accurately predict how well you're gonna do going into lobbies and surfing for different games. Of course, you could hold a team to that first offensive stance, make that first stance at stage one, or you could go time limit for each individual stage and end up losing the match, so it becomes a 13, 14 minute thing at times. But the one thing that I will say, though, is that each individual half, if you want to put it that way, counts as its own match. So regardless of if you end up going four minutes for one, holding that first defensive stance, to going time limit on every stage, the next one, though it is incredibly variable, those still count as two different games. And of course, with this being one of the ones that has the potential to go longer, you do have that possibility of jumping into a game late or maybe early on, but still taking off a minute or two minutes off of what the major chunk would be. So it does have the potential to put you into those games later so you can maybe just kind of cheat your way if you want to put it that way to a completion but not really because you're still partaking in the game so that said that is the modes that i think are the absolute best to unlock your orders or rather complete those special orders for the dlc weapons so you can unlock the base weapons for absolutely no price whatsoever for free just by playing the game but of course that is just my thoughts and opinions here with us so if you guys have anything that you think can add a little bit more to this list and be a little bit more effective feel free to let me know down there in the comment section down below but of course definitely take advantage of gun game this week in particular as it's double xp you can work towards challenges and everything like that for weapons you probably normally would not at the moment and of course it is the fastest mode in which you can complete games so take advantage of that but that said let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section 
description down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. We're on that road to 100,000 subscribers, and we're going to be keeping you guys up to date with everything you need to know here regarding Call of Duty World War II. So if any of it interests you, make sure you that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. And finally, if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that's the best place to get connected with me outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But all that said, out of the way, hope you guys had a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Mine is an espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.